what I'm going to do this time, our concept is something different. And I'm going to give one example of it is your home. Uh -huh. Your home. Think about what your home looks like. And this is one example of our secret concept that we're trying to drink to um, <laughs> that we're trying to guess. Okay, so your home is, and then think about your favorite toy at home. Your favorite toy. That is not one. So your home is one. Your favorite toy. I'm going to give one more. This morning, what you had for breakfast this morning, that is one. Your breakfast. I don't get it. That is one. This is a guessing. Remember, we're trying to figure out what do these have in common? And then think about your last play date. So a play date is not one. Should I put another one, another clue? Yeah. Okay. Let's do another clue. Here's another thing that is part of our secret concept. Shoes. Here's something that is not. A trip to Disneyland. That's not one. She thought these things are these are things, and that's what these have in common, and that these are not things. What do you think? Let's talk about it. I see you shaking your head. What do you think? I think that the famous toy is bucket landing, so that means that the happiness of these things is not correct. Oh, okay. What do you think about that, Amber? Do you agree so far? Uh, shoes are a thing. Shoes are a thing. So, what do you think about the first guess, our first hypothesis? Do you think we should change it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you know what? It's awesome that we're coming up with a guess or a hypothesis. Because that's what we do. We change them when we get more information. Okay. And what's your hypothesis? The yes things are things that you have to live with. And the no things are things that you don't need to live with. Oh, so you think that all the things in the yes column are the same in that we live with. We have to have them yes. to live? Okay, so your hypothesis is we have to have yes things to live. So I'm going to write that down. We must have them to live. We must have them. Let's talk about that. Does anybody have any ideas? Something that, um, do you have any thoughts about it? Do you think it, you agree? Or is there something in the list that makes this something that might not be the hypothesis? Raise your hand and let me know what you think. Lucas, thank well, you. Um, you don't need your breakfast. Sometimes you don't need it because, like, uh, sometimes I don't have breakfast and you don't, you won't die without oh, it. Oh, because later on in the day you're gonna have yeah, like, like lunch or dinner. Like, like you, like you have no food, you get sick and die. Well, yeah, so well, we do for... need the food. I like that you brought that up, Lucas. You're right. You, if you don't eat breakfast, you still live because Good. you're gonna have what later on? Lunch and dinner. You're gonna have lunch and dinner. So. I'm going to keep this in, I'm going to keep this, it is something you have to have to live because it's food. Yeah. So you have to have food, so your breakfast, your lunch, and your yeah. dinner is food. I think you guys have got what our secret concept is. These are all things that we, what's this word? Need to live. Need to live. Need to live. Things we need, they are our needs. And a need is something we have to have to live. We must have 
it. Two. 